Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss the call by value versus call by reference. Um, let's go back to Visual Studio. Here I have declared actually two methods. One is method for call by value. Another is method for call by reference. The difference between these two methods is a parameter passed in the method call by reference is used with the ref keyword. Okay, so let's start. I'm assigning a value 5 in i and then I am writing it console.write line with the i. Now here I'm expecting it to 5. Now let's call this method and then I pass i in here and then since it's a call by value let's change the value from i value to 6. Now after this call if I write i again I still should get 5. So even if I'm setting the value to 6 I'm still getting 5 here. However if I'm calling this method I am passing ref keyword in here and then let's set the value of sorry i to 7 and then when i'm writing it i'm expecting it to write 7 so okay so let's execute it yep we can see that 557 is there as, as, as expected so we have to see now why this is a behavior because in this method which is called by value we change the value from i to 6 but it was not reflected here however when we change the value of this variable in this method 7 it has been changed the reason is that the, this is what is the difference in the call by value and call by reference mainly so uh, to explain this let me explain you about this statement first so whenever our CLR execute this statement what is happening is this so in this screen if you look here this it will this statement will allocate a memory so that memory has a value 5 and address of 1 to 1 to now i internally stores the address of value which is 1 to 1 to so when a variable i is referred we actually are returning it returns the value that is present at the address 1212. So that's why whenever I'm writing console.writeline i, it returns me 5. It will not return me 1212, it will return me 5. That's important. So now when I'm method, when I'm calling this method for okay, let's debug it as well so that we understand it more deeply, more clearly. Okay. So if you look here i has a 5 value f11 let's see and the value was still 5 here but after executing this statement the value of this variable is changed to 6 however if i go back through my call stack in this scope i can see that the value that is for i is still 5 the reason is since we have called it by value it will allocate another memory for this method and the address will be different so this i is not same as this i anymore so it is like you are you are allocating a new memory and it has an address of 1213. So now that 1213 address, we are changing the value 6 here. It doesn't matter to the, this method because it is 1212, which is different. Now let's go to my next method call, which is method for call by ref. In this one, I have passed it by reference. So if I go here, I can see that it is still 5. However, when I will execute this statement, the i has been changed to 7. The value of i has been changed. Now, I am using the call stack. Let's go click in the main method. When I am clicking the main method, I can mouse over my button and I can see that value of i has been changed in the main method as well. The reason is when I am calling the method, I am passing it the arguments by ref. That means I am passing the address of the memory. So it's like 1212 itself is passed in the method for call by ref method. So the memory is shared between two these two methods for this variable only. Okay. So when 
I'm executing, I can see that value has been changed to seven. So this is the main difference. So when you call by value, you actually pass the value. When you call by reference, you actually pass the address of your variable. So this is the difference. Okay. I hope guys, it is clear to you. So this is what is all about call by value and call by reference. Thanks for watching it. Um, in my next video, I will try to explain you more deeper about the call by value, call by reference by taking an example of classes and uh, class objects. So if you are interested, please watch my next video. Thank you.